just done. <laughs> just so done. It's not my day, not my week, not, no. Retrograde, one more week. I'm done. I'm so done with it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologize for the little bit of negativity in the beginning. It has just been a time for your girl. If you notice my appearance, I'm not wearing makeup. I have my blue light glasses on. I don't know if it's allergies, being sick constantly or what. Oh my eye won't stop tearing. I just gets really irritated. I had makeup on, had to take it all off. I'm not having a great time with that right now. I feel like it happened last year too. With all that being said, it is Sunday. Back to work tomorrow and I have a haul for you guys. <laughs> This actually has been kind of an unintentional haul and I did end up ordering like some things from Queen Cosmetics and a brand called Twisted Allure which does a lot of like Halloween soaps and scrubs and body spray and hand soaps and stuff and I ended up ordering like a whole Michael Myers like gift set thing. You'll see that probably soon. I ended up ordering some stuff off Amazon. I got a few things from Fashion Nova. Went to TJ Maxx this past Friday instead of going to the Durham Fair, which I don't know. I had a feeling that we shouldn't go, basically. That's why we didn't go. And then I have some stuff from the Big E. So if you guys would like to see what I got, keep watching and let's just jump right in. And again, these are blue light glasses, so hence why I look yellow. Your girl just can't function today. Like, I just, I haven't been able to function all week. My eye just won't stop. It's really bothering me. Allergies is like my one downfall of my life, I feel like. Like, it's the one thing I just wish I did not have. And we'll start from Amazon. For them in my vlog, I got a pair of these sunglasses. I'll put a picture right here. They look like the dupe, allegedly, these Louis Vuitton sunglasses, which are, like, really expensive. I ended up getting this dupe off Amazon. They are really tight on my face because they have left a mark right here since I wore them all day yesterday. But other than that, they're very cute and I really like them. I got these last year in my Black Friday haul. They are by Dermatrue. They are just basically, like, heads for my Clarisonic Mia 2. We'll end up selling some of these on my Poshmark, probably because of it comes with three sensitive ones, which are the only brush heads that I like to use. And then it comes with the pore cleansing ones. But these are just so harsh on my face that I break out every time I use them. We'll have these for sale on my Poshmark, probably coming soon. Really cheap, just because I cannot find seller or buy this brand that just sells the sensitive ones. It's like sensitive and the poor ones. So I think that's just gonna be how I'm gonna live my life. And I refuse to spend money on the real ones. Like $50 for like two or something like that. I'm not doing that. Another pair of oh, my colorful koala leggings. I really love these leggings a lot. They are so similar to Lululemon. It's not even funny. And you guys know I've been buying these for years. I think since the pandemic and I'm obsessed with them. So that's what they look like. They're always sold out on Amazon. So basically, I get the ones with pockets. There are ones that come without pockets, which I bought in the past by accident and had to give to my sister because I just, I need pockets in my leggings. I just bought another organization thing. This is a legging storage bag storage handle 24 leggings or shirts black so this i have such an issue ever since we've moved in here just in general with storing my clothes like my jeans my leggings just everything in general i have the plastic bins all in my drawer if you see my closet videos clean outs then you know i've just been struggling with trying to figure out how to organize everything i currently have shirts shoe organizer on the back of my door like i don't know what i'm doing so i figured i would get this for at least my leggings and my jeans so I could just easily like pull them out or put them in and not worry about them and not have to go through the huge hangers of like three or four or five sets of them on one hanger. Yeah, I'm just not about that. The reason I stopped putting them in drawers is because I felt like I wasn't I wasn't wearing all the pairs of like jeans and leggings that I had. I was just re-wearing the same ones over and over again. So that's why they're on hangers now. I don't know. Any suggestions would be much appreciated because I really want to start like reorganizing my closet more, doing some life things the next few months. So I really need to like reorganize everything. It's, no, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. Calm down right now. It's not that. Any life things I will let you guys know when, when the time comes. Another pack of my favorite sponges. I don't care. Call me a bougie ass. I don't care. The scrub daddies are my favorite kitchen sponges. I don't care. David hates them. Loves the scrub mommies because it has like a real sponge on the other side. But I love these. This one is the special edition holiday set because finally after two years, you guys, because you've seen like, I think it was like a couple years ago, maybe 2020. I think it was 2020. I ended up buying a whole Halloween pack, a whole Christmas pack, and I bought like a whole scrub mommy pack from Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. I don't know. And I've gone through all of them, so now it's time to get some of these since I only have 
one more Halloween one left that needs to be used for the winter time and then I will get spring ones and all that. I just didn't want to buy them all at once but I got more of those. I originally put this in a vlog and unboxed it and everything. They're watching this which I think that they do watch my stuff because I've never, let me just say, I've never been so impressed with a brand in an email before because literally you guys, I'm not even kidding, just from the email, I was like, yes. Really, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I would love to share your products with my subscribers and my followers and everything because, oh my gosh, like the email was just, they like mentioned Gooby by her name, like stuff that I like. So like, they've really been like keeping up and I love companies that personally kind of keep up with who they want to send products to, like influencers and stuff like that because I feel like it's just more personable and I feel, and it just like, for me, it's just like, okay, like, yes, I want to try your stuff because you clearly know what I like and know what I share with you guys and they want to be a part of that which is awesome so I got some stuff from a brand called Smartish and I will put links to all of their stuff in the description down below everything that I mentioned to the best of my ability previously unboxed all this in a vlog and lost the footage so I have to do it again but he sent me a cute little note to go with it which is awesome a whole bunch of talking points for each one of their items which I thought was awesome too so I will definitely list to everything down below but they just sent me a whole ton of phone cases. These are a phone case and accessory brand and I really really like them a lot. They have a lot of wallet cases so if you are a girl or a guy that just cannot with a purse like 90% of the time they have awesome stuff for not just your phone but also you can put your cards in and stuff like that. Like this one for example is called Dancing Queen which literally has a lanyard with it and then it also has an extra like, wristlet that you, goes with it and you could just easily open it up and put your phone in there. They have a whole bunch of styles and a whole bunch of prints too which are not into like the more hello wow that was awful into more of the wallety styles they do have ones with just prints so this is one of the prints that i got which is the i forgot what it's called print i'll put the name of it right here but i really love it and i really love their packaging too because it's like an easy open it says open sesame and you pull it and the whole thing sharing more of the stuff with you guys on my socials and stuff but i just have to say again thank you to them this print though, oh my gosh, so pretty. Definitely when it gets close to like Christmas time, you guys know I don't like to use a huge purse when I go Christmas shopping. All the wallet slayers. This is volume two, which is purple, really pretty. I think my mother-in-law would love this actually. I think I might have to get one for her. So also have these cool things called a case clinger, which you could easily use this little mechanism right here. Attach it to any phone case that you have. I think it's in between the phone and the case and you can wear it as like a crossbody. Absolutely love this chain. Like I really think like everything else that they, I only picked out a few cases you guys and everything else they sent me was amazing. Like this chain for example which is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I honestly would use it on a purse. Like not kidding. So that might have to happen. Just throwing it out there. So thank you again so much to Smartish. They have a whole bunch of other stuff too. They also have these prop tarts which go on the back of your phone, kind of like a pop socket. Feels more comfortable and it flattens right out too. Which another print, the Kung Fu Grip, really cute. Zilla, which is another print I chose with this really pretty cheetah print. I think definitely a couple of the things I'm most excited about, their Cable Wrangler, which basically is a giant magnet and you put these little things on your cords and then that way you don't lose them they just attach right to the magnet they also sent me crown jewel and i love that they sent me the pink stuff because i didn't even pick out like the accessories they did that so thank you guys i appreciate that it's not just an apple iphone cord and it has a usb on it in the clear here no usb ports here however if you have like an android or you have like a friend that has an android or a galaxy or whatever and they don't have an iphone you can just take the top off and there is a USB C right there a micro usb so you could easily change it out to whatever one that you want to use which i think is great too because especially if you're in a car with people and someone's phone dies and you're like oh well you're out of luck because i only have an iphone cord ha 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 but this way you get multiple phones said i will have all the links down below if you guys want to go check it out thank you again so so much to Smartish for sending this stuff to me. I am obsessed. Obviously, you guys know I am phone case obsessed. Clearly, I'm very excited to use these. They seem very comfortable, good quality, and I love that they have a lot of wallet options too for when you don't feel like carrying a purse. If you know what I mean? Like the big E's on right now. Fairs are going on. Who's gonna want to take a whole? Thank you guys for the cute emails. Like that really just like 
made my day I was like oh my gosh because sometimes I don't know maybe it's just from a youtuber standpoint I don't consider myself like an influencer I'm like a cre I consider myself a creator there's a lot of times like I get emails from companies and they're just like hi we want you to do this and this and this and we want you to review our product or we want you to do this and it's just like it doesn't feel very personable like I, I love emails from companies that actually watch you that actually have seen you post that like know what you like and clearly like watch your stuff I mean I know a lot of companies do say that they watch they've seen like videos and stuff like obviously one of my most popular ones right now is my phone case collection video so hence why I'm getting a lot of brands reaching out to me phone case brands and stuff which is awesome it just it, it makes the experience as a creator so much like more exciting from Fashion Nova which isn't really that exciting I ended up on Fashion Nova because Skims Kim just came out with her cotton fleece collection however girls really trying to not buy that and it's literally just a gray sweatshirt and gray sweatpants like I know I can get that anywhere I already have like a gray sweatshirt and sweatpants he being my little mastermind itself I was like let me go find a set on Fashion Nova so I tried and it's not the same color and I forgot to order the top so therefore this is going back lesson learned Thank goodness for that. Hope this is not final sale. I have not like dressed up for Halloween in so long and I wanted to Instagram and I saw this on TikTok. So I ended up getting the Pink Wednesdays Halloween costume, which I was like, oh, I can wear everything separate. That'd be so great. Come to find out that this is attached. So if you're going to buy this, ladies and gentlemen, know that this is attached, but it just looks so cute. I'm so excited. It comes with the necklace and the shawl and the shrug or whatever and the necklace and the purse. And I'm very excited to wear this. So stay tuned for my Instagram this October. I was going to be a Hooters girl. Set. <laughs> I've had this set twice. I've resold one of these sets on my Poshmark. Another one will be coming soon once I find them. Wonderlust set. This was so popular in like 2017, 2018 and I wanted it so bad. So hence, I bought it twice. Thinking that a large would fit me too tight. I bought a bigger set size still didn't really fit so I ended up getting it this time in a in a 1x and they are gray plus size so hopefully this will fit me this time because I really do love this set it just is kind of unfortunate that it hasn't been fitting me the last few sizes I've gotten moving on I ended up going to TJ Maxx with my mom last Friday and I did get some things so I don't know what it was I don't know if I mentioned it in the vlog or not maybe I did but I went, I got to my mom's, we were getting ready to go to the fair, and she's like, let's just not go. And I was just like, yeah, we won't go, it's okay. But I also started to kind of have a feeling like we shouldn't go, like there was a reason, like I had like that intuition feeling, like that gut feeling, like don't go, don't go, don't go. So I, I don't know what that was, but I'm kind of happy that we didn't. Went to TJ Maxx and we had pizza, so like, I mean, it's fine. Figured in my head if I was going to a fair Friday night and then I went to the Big E the next day, I was just, I was going to be dead. And I was dead after the Big E, so the universe was like, no, don't do that. Just don't do that yet. No, it's not Christmas yet, guys. I know. But TJ Maxx had a little section of Christmas stuff, and if you're new here, my husband loves Christmas. <laughs> like, that's his favorite holiday. Mine's Halloween. I found this, and it lights up, and I could not resist, so I ended up getting this for him and for Christmas time. It is absolutely gorgeous, this little gingerbread house. If you could find it, it's the only one there, and I was like, okay, this is coming home with me. It just looks so, so cute, and it's so different from all the other, like, Christmas decorations that I do have. Stay tuned for Vlogmas. I saw a girl at TJ Maxx with these slides in her cart and also some other like colorful Uggs. And then I believe I saw her TikTok like a day later of with the same stuff and the same purse and everything that this girl has. So I don't know if it was the same girl, but it was the same shoes that she had in her cart. So I was like, okay. I do want a different pair of Ugg slides at this point. I ended up finding these. I don't know what the proper name of them are, but I got these gray ones that have like kind of a platform to them. Mand on the back of them and they are gray and I only paid $40. I was very excited to find them in my size. Obviously it was meant to be, so I got these. I'm definitely going to be wearing them out a lot until it starts like getting really, really cold. David was not happy about this. He was not. I got this Hocus Pocus cup with the little topper. Meant to be. My mom and I both got the same one, so I had to pick this one up to add to our Halloween cup collection. Definitely be getting more Christmas ones because for some reason I only have like one Christmas Ray Dawn mug. Hello Kitty! She was just staring at me and I had to get her. She's just so cute and I love the handle on her, so she's adorable. She's gonna be great for tea and hot chocolate and coffee. This candle, this is a different candle. Obviously you see the name of it. 
I have so many pumpkin ones and for some reason pumpkin candles to me this year when I go shop for them they just don't smell good they all smell terrible so I found a candy corn one. Oh, it smells like it literally kind of smells like the strawberry pound cake candle from Bath and Body Works oh my gosh it's so 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 good I'm so excited to burn this and I also got a lot of random stuff I found the Morphe and Lisa Frank sponges which I did want when they come came out but I'm happy that I waited it's three full-size ones and three mini ones and it was only $7.99 don't remember how much they were at Ulta but that's a deal for me got another it's a 10 miracle even with keratin this was $14.99 I don't know if that's a good price I kind of feel like it's not now that I'm looking at it love that stuff I live for, for some reason the keratin one just works better for me I totally didn't buy more nails no I did not I got some kiss Halloween ones. I don't know if I'm gonna get to wearing these this year. Hopefully we'll see but I got those some matte black ones from tip beauty and Another set of matte white ones from tip beauty and then these these just look so like witchy and cute They're like mint with some stars and cross and then there's some moons on there and The last thing from TJ Maxx I found I think I'm gonna end up splitting this up for Christmas time because I I already have one of them and then a couple of them I'm like, I don't think that'd be for me and then maybe maybe keep one of them I don't know but I found this cute little Laneige travel set of lip masks which comes with berry grapefruit apple lime and mint chocolate I thought this would be great for stocking stuffers mostly for Christmas I know it's early but like my brain is already like just start picking up things here and there just start doing it because every year I just get so overwhelmed this is the grand finale for the most part there is always a section or a booth at the biggie that sells like pop figures and I'm aware I probably paid too much money for these however in the moment I was like I need them and they're in front of me and I'm not walking away without them get one for Nate for Christmas obviously if you guys don't know pop figures are like very popular obviously and a lot of people collect certain ones as far as like Nate if you're out there you need to comment below and, and explain this to the people um, but basically like certain people collect like certain different kinds that they like I collect Harley Quinn ones I've been for years now I'm trying to get into Hello Kitty and Britney Spears and I need to get another MGK one but besides the point people collect all there's so many different kinds people collect all different ones Nate really likes like Venom and Oogie Boogie and Pokemon depending on what it is and there's like specific hags like what it says only from Target or rare or Comic-Con exclusive or like stuff like that that makes them even more rare and more like valuable so in the future you could like sell them for a lot of money Shit! oh my gosh I ended up finding a Harley Quinn pop there was actually three of them there but I already had two of them so I found this DC Harley Quinn oh she looks a little like gross I might have to clean her up but Harley Quinn I think she's just like on her own I don't know like if this is like a I don't know actually because it, it has like this on the back so I don't really know what that means like I know it's either like Chinese Japanese Korean whatever but I don't really know what that means but it's different and I don't have unless she's like a maybe she's like a samurai edition I don't know but she just looks so cute and I had to get her on this Hello Kitty one this is a Hello Kitty in Team USA Hello Kitty basketball and it has like the Olympic like Team USA sticker on it which I was super super excited for I guess there's a whole line of them on the back girls just gonna be collecting non-stop so if you guys ever had ever end up seeing any Hello Kitty or any pops anywhere online let me know because I'm psycho it's great and then finally huh, I found a Britney Spears this one is her and her like circus uniform circus outfit it doesn't say like all the other ones on the back but I know there's like so many Britney Spears ones so that's the one that I got I have one of these in my living room if you've been here from the beginning you know and they are not killed and I just have to say for the record they wait until they are passed away before they do this to them so I just want to throw that out there because we love this and I just had to get like a single one this year so this is a monarch butterfly you do not know already I have a butterfly tattoo butterflies mean a lot 